was everything today, dear? Terrible. What happened? Meetings with parents all day. As school principal, I can handle the children, but the parents get me down. I guess they're just a necessary evil. Oh. <laughs> Another comic book? You'd do better to study your arithmetic. Superboy doesn't do multiplication. Why should I? Oh. <laughs> oh, Mother. Hello, dear. I'm so confused. I, I don't know what to do. Do about what? I'm going to the school dance, and, and Bill and Ralph and Drexel have all asked me, and I just can't make up my mind which one to go with. Now, that's a big problem, isn't it? Oh, Bill's a wonderful dancer, and he's so interesting. And Ralph's so, so romantic, but he's such a dope. What about Drexel? Oh, Drexel's just Drexel. An excellent description, if you ask me. I think I'll go with Drexel. Well, thank goodness that's settled. I won't tell him, though. I mean that I'm going with him. Why not? Oh, a girl has to keep a boy dangling, you know. <laughs> I'm sure Joyce has read another book. <laughs> With all of those dates, you are a very popular young lady. Why shouldn't she be? People say she looks like you. Thank heavens, she doesn't. <laughs> Joy certainly does get around. Games, parties, dances. What about the girls that aren't so fortunate? Girls that stay at home and watch the pretty ones have all the fun. Oh, it's sad, but it's always been that way, I guess. Oh, I don't see why it should be. Ed Hopper came into my office today. He's awfully worried about Mildred. Mildred? She graduated last year. I know, but she never has any dates, never goes out. He thought maybe I could help in some way. She's sure homely. That isn't very nice, Jackie. I wouldn't call Mildred a pretty girl, but she's sweet, isn't she, Joyce? Oh, I don't know, Mother. I never knew her very well. She certainly doesn't care how she looks. It's a shame she's so lonely. No mother. Hopper really is concerned. He thinks she spends so much time making a home that she's missing all the fun. Well, she doesn't seem very interested in boys. Oh, she's interested enough, I guess. It's just that nobody's interested in her. Jackie, please. Joyce, why don't you get her a date or something? It would do her a world of good. Oh, I'd like to, Father, but honestly, she isn't very attractive. I don't know what I could do. You could do quite a bit. A few changes in her makeup and hairdo would make a tremendous improvement. How about plastic surgery? Jackie, why don't you take her in hand and give her a few pointers? Yes, dear, why don't you? It would be very generous of you. Well, maybe you're right, Mother. I could afford to be generous. It's about time I try to help someone less fortunate than I am. That's the spirit, Joyce. You make Mildred a very happy girl. Yeah. The only way to make her happy is to take all the mirrors out of the house. Please. I'll get started on it right away. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Why? Well, I'll get all the popular girls at school together, and we'll form a club. Oh? Then we'll start out with Mildred, and, and then we'll help all the rest of the girls that can't get themselves dates. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. Marvelous. Marvelous. I even know what I'm going to call the club. Why? I'll call it the O-D-T-G-W-C-D-T. -T. O -T -D what? The Organization to Date Girls Who Can't Date Themselves. Oh? Oh, Joyce, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Mother, it's a beautiful name. I'll call my friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Gertie. I can't understand it. I really can't. You mean about the OTDGWCDT? Yeah. You'd think for a wonderful idea like that, everybody'd want to join. Well... To tell the truth, Joyce, I wasn't anxious about joining myself. Gertie! Well, I might as well be frank about it. I said to myself, why should we help make Mildred Hopper glamorous when women are just glutting the market as it is? I don't know what you're talking about. I said to myself, there are more girls than fellas anyway. Why, a female positively has to scramble to get a male escort nowadays. Why should we fix another one up so she can be competition for us? Oh, Gertie, you have no charity in your soul. That's what I said to myself, but I said to you I joined the club, didn't I? I guess you're a true friend, Gertie. I guess that's why the other girls didn't join. I think it was a colossal idea for a club, Joyce, but... But with just the two of us, we'd only have enough for a president and a vice president. That's true, isn't it? And if we ever tried to fix up Mildred, we'd need a club. I mean, we'd have to have more members, because we couldn't do a big job like that with just us. Gertie, are you trying to resign before we even get started? There's nothing to resign from, Joyce. Look, it's up to us. We've got to be strong. We've got to have courage. We do? Yes. Just think. That poor...
poor, poor girl is languishing in her room while we're going out to dances and having fun. <sighs> I've done a little languishing myself. It's up to you and me, Gertie. We're going to do the job ourselves. We're going to make Mildred Harper beautiful. Mildred Harper beautiful? <laughs> That'll be a job. That'll be a miracle. <laughs> now, don't forget, Gertie. What? The way we're going to talk to her. Sure, I remember it. We've got to be careful. She might be a little sensitive, you know. I know. We've got to be tactful. That's right. Guys, doesn't it make you feel super to do things for people? Yeah. Super. Hello, Mildred. Hello, what do you want? We're members of the OT... Members of what? This is purely a social visit, Mildred. May we come in? Yeah, if you want to. We've been meaning to see you, Mildred, but uh, something always happens at the last minute. Isn't that right, Gertie? Oh, yes. Down deep, we have always counted on you as one of our dearest friends. It's a lovely house you have, Mildred. Yes. <laughs> so cheerful. What did you want to see me about? Oh, well, uh, at school we formed a club for girls who don't go out very often. And, uh... and since you get out less than anybody else, we thought we'd help you first. Oh, I see. It's just that we could help you fix your hair and, and your makeup and things. And then when you were all glamorized, maybe some fellow would ask you to go out with him. Isn't that exciting? No. No, Mildred? No. You mean, you're not interested, Mildred? No, I look all right. Joyce, she says she looks all right. And I don't need a fellow to go out with. I've got a fellow. He just happens to be out of town, that's all. Joyce, she's got a fella. Besides, I think you'd better go. Oh, Mildred, now look, we don't want you to think you're trying to tell me how to look. Well, I'm two years older than the both of you. You're just kids. And I don't need any club started for me either. Goodbye. She didn't like the idea, did she? You know something, Gertie? What? I make a motion we dissolve the OTD GWCDT. I second the motion. Let's go find Vinnie and Drexel. <laughs> I'm simply starved for man talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Irwin. Hello, Mildred. May I come in? Please do. What a lovely room. You've done a wonderful job keeping everything so nice. You've made your father very happy. I try to. But you have to think more of yourself. Get out more and enjoy yourself. I bet Joyce told you to come in. Look, Mrs. Irwin, I've got a boyfriend. He lives in Maple City. I know, dear, but it isn't normal for a girl to stay home as much as you do. You know, your skin is nice and clear, and you have pretty eyes. I'm sure you don't have to wear your glasses all the time. No, but... Really, Mrs. Irwin, I know I'm not good-looking. But you are, dear. It's just that I don't think you do anything about it. Let's see. A hair rinse would bring out the color, and I saw the prettiest dress in Mr. Meyer's store. Oh, could I really? Certainly. Oh, but even if I had dates... I wouldn't know what to do or, or what to say. I wouldn't worry too much about that. But what can I talk about? Talk? A woman doesn't have to talk. Just get a man started talking about himself and all you have to do is listen. Men are always happy when they're talking, particularly if it's about themselves. Gee, Mrs. Irwin, would you really help me? <laughs> Come on, dear, let's get started. Joyce, I think you should be ashamed of yourself. But, Dad... Going to see that girl and telling her you'd organized a club to get her dates. Well, that's what the club was for, wasn't it? Of course, no one's denying that. But where's your tact, your diplomacy? Naturally, she told you she had a boyfriend. You probably hurt her terribly. I probably changed the course of her whole life. You undoubtedly made her feel as if she were a freak or something. I'll go over to her house. I'll apologize. No, no, that's rubbing salt into the wound. She wouldn't let you in anyway. Well, what'll I do? You can make up for your lack of tact. 
You'll have to restore her self-respect. Give her confidence. But how? By getting her a couple of dates, that's how. Being asked out will make her feel she's more attractive. And when she feels that way, she will be. Who could I get that would go out with Mildred Harper? That's your problem. But believe me, Joyce, you're going to undo the wrong you've done that girl. I'm sure a girl who's as popular as you are can figure out a little thing like that. I'll try, Dad. Whom are you calling? The membership, of course. What's the use? Hello? Gertie? Oh, hello, Joyce. Listen, you can forget that motion we made. The club isn't dissolved. We're going to have a meeting right away. Well, okay, Joyce. But I ain't happy. I won't do it, Joyce. In fact, I resign. Gertie, you're absolutely heartless. We've got to undo the wrong we've done, and I think it's a beautiful idea. What's beautiful about it? Getting Mildred Hopper dates? Getting her dates? You want my beanie to take her out. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Except it's playing him a dirty trick, that's all. And besides, if Beanie has any free time, I want him to spend it with me. Oh, Gertie, where's your generosity? Where's yours? Why don't you get Drexel to take her out? Drexel? Oh, I couldn't. I thought so. I make a motion we dissolve. Oh, no. Look, we've got to help her. I'll tell you what. If I get Drexel to take her out, can you arrange it with Beanie so he'll date her too? Sure. But Drexel will never take her out. Oh, yes, he will. He'd better if he expects to take me to the spring dance. What do you think I am, crazy? Please don't be difficult, Drexel. Mildred Hopper. Please? You want me to go out with her. Just for me? I might even let you take me to the school dance if you do this for me. Gee, Joyce, it's asking an awful lot. I'd do anything for you. Clean the house, run errands. But you'll never get me to take Mildred out. All right, Drexel. We have nothing further to say to each other. You better get yourself another date for the dance. Okay, I will. Drexel, come back. But no Mildred Hopper. Gertie asked Beanie to take her out. And just because she asked him, he said yes. He did? I guess it's because Beanie cares more for Gertie than you do for me. Oh, now, Joyce, that's not true. It's better to know the truth about us now rather than be hurt more in the future. You sure Beanie's going to go out with her? Beanie cares enough for Gertie to do things for her. Let's not talk anymore about it. I just want to go home and cry. Okay, I'll take her. Oh, thanks, Drexel. I think you're wonderful. Hmm. Now, look, ask her out tonight. Don't forget to be real interested in her. Build up her confidence. A couple of dates and Mildred will never be the same. One date with Mildred and I'll never be the same. Come on, let's go call Mildred. Okay, give me a nickel. Fine thing. In order to get our girls to go to the school dance with us, we gotta take out this creep Mildred. Yeah. Gee, and what if somebody should see us with her? I guess you better take her out first. Uh, you're on the debating team. You'll be more diplomatic than I will. Wait a minute. Your girl started this thing. Okay, okay. We'll flip a coin. You got one? Loser takes Mildred out first. Call it. Heads. Heads it is. Okay, Martyr. You go first. It's awfully nice of you to call me for a date. Liz? I mean, it's nice of you to give me one. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> well, uh, where would you like to go? I leave myself completely in your hands. Anything you say. Wow! I mean, uh, that's swell. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go to the movies and uh, 
take a little ride and maybe uh, park a while. Well, that's fine. Then you can tell me all about football. You know, I love football. You do? Well, you should have seen me at the game between us and City High. I was playing quarterback, see, and it was up to me to call the right play. We were six points behind, so I decided I'd take... Hello, Martyr. Oh, hi, Vinnie. How is the gruesome twosome? Oh, you mean Mildred? Oh, terrible. What a dog. Well, you know her. What more can I say? Yeah, I know. Even taking her to the movies was no good. She eats popcorn and rattles the bag. Gee, she can't even talk. Taking her out is like talking to yourself. Must be awful. But if I gotta take her out, I gotta. And tonight's my night, so I might as well call her. Wait a minute, Beanie. I was thinking. We've been friends a long time, and... Well, as long as I've already suffered this much, I might as well... Well, if you don't want to take her out, I'll take her out again. You kidding? I'm sort of used to her. The, the shock won't be so great. Besides, Beanie, we're old pals. You can just call it a gesture of friendship. Brother, I didn't know friendship went that deep. You sure are a pal, Drexel. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. So, Drexel, how are you, darling? It's nice to see you again. Hi, Mildred. It's nice to see you too, Beanie. Very nice. See you soon, Drexel. An act of friendship, huh? You double-crossing rat. Just try and keep me from dating that dreamboat. Hey, Mildred! Oh, hello, Joyce. Oh, hi, Gertie. Waiting for Drexel? No, why should I be? Haven't seen you with him much. Did you have a fight? Why, no, I'm, I'm just not interested, that's all. I'm not going to chase him. Yeah. I guess it's the same thing with me and Beanie. Men can get uninteresting, can't they? Yeah. Uh, have you made up your mind who you're going to the dance with? Oh, why, no, I haven't decided yet. Dances can be so boring. Isn't that a fact? Huh? Nothing but dancing. Oh, what's the use of kidding? I want to go to that dance joint, but now I can. Why? Because I thought I was going with Beanie, that's why. Oh, I should have said yes when he asked me, instead of playing hard to get. I guess dangling a man isn't the best technique. You're darn right. When you got him hooked, you pull him in. Gosh, I haven't heard from Beanie since the night he went out with her. And I haven't seen Drexel since then. But you know, I think it's for the best. If our men can cast us aside like driftwood, it's better we know their true natures now. I don't care about Beanie's true nature. I just want him to take me to the dance. Well, maybe they're playing hard to get, too. <laughs> Thank you, Beanie. Thank you. Do you see what I see? Oh, no. It's impossible. It's Mildred Hopper, and she's beautiful. They don't look like they're playing hard to get to me. Gertie, there's only one thing we can do. Outside of dying, what? We've got to form a new club. The G-O-M-B-F-M-C. The what? The Get Our Men Back from Mildred Club. Honestly, Joyce, I don't understand it. It's all your fault. My fault? But I didn't... Yes, you did. You told me to get Mildred Hopper dates. And I had to practically force Drexel to go out with her, and now look what happened. I'm a jilted woman. I'm doomed to spend the rest of my life as a spinster. Oh, now look, honey, it isn't as bad as all of that. Please. George! <laughs> George, what do you think happened? Please don't bother me. But it's terrific. It's the biggest thing that's happened since anything. Oh, now cool down, Jackie. What did happen? Prepare yourself for a shock, Joyce. A big shock. I'm not interested. <laughs> but what is it? Mildred has a loan. Good grief. Well, what's so unusual about a girl getting married? Huh? Mildred! Elope! 
Oh, Jackie, who did she elope with? Oh, Jackie, you must be mistaken. No, I'm not, Pop. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah? Jackie, who did she elope with? Tell me. Oh, I don't know. Drexel's been seeing a lot of her, hasn't he? Gotta go now, brownie meeting. Jackie! Jackie, come back here! Oh! Hello, everybody. Oh. I just heard the most wonderful news. It's about Mildred. Then huh? it's true. She is married. Oh, no, no. It can't be true. It is true, dear. I just left Mrs. Hart, who heard it from Mrs. Reynolds, who knows the delivery boy at Mildred's house very well. Oh. Mother, tell me. Oh, no. Who did she marry? Now, isn't that silly? I was so excited about Mildred, I forgot to ask about the groom. But it is wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful? What's wonderful about it? Well, the fact that she's getting married. Less than a week ago, she didn't care how she looked or anything. I can take a little credit for that, I think. If I hadn't told her how to fix herself up and helped her buy some new dresses, I don't think it would have happened. My very own mother spoiled my whole life. Don't be so dramatic just because I helped her a little. Helped her a little? You helped her to steal Drexel away from me and she married him. Drexel? Oh, don't be silly, Joyce. He's so young. I can't believe it. No. What else is there to believe? Oh. I'll never forgive you, Mother. Now, Joyce. Are you either? Huh? My Drexel is at this very minute another woman's husband. Oh! <laughs> Joyce, huh? did you hear? Oh, my goodness, another one. Yes, I heard. Can you imagine that Beanie running away with that? Oh, no. Beanie? Are you sure? Well, I'm positive it's Beanie. Who else could it be? Oh, what could she possibly see in Beanie? It must be Drexel. And why should it be Drexel instead of Beanie? Beanie has many very appealing qualities. Oh, Drexel's twice as handsome as Beanie, and you know it. Oh, now, girls, let's not fight. Let's not. Oh, Gertie. <laughs> well, I'll get it. Uh, I'll help you. Oh, no. <laughs> Drexel, Beanie, come in. Good evening, Mr. and Miss Sirwin. Jackie told us Joyce and Gertie were here. Yes, come on in. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls, look. A surprise. Drexel! Mm -hmm. Beanie! You see, I told you it was silly. Neither of them married Mildred. Married Mildred? Us? It was her boyfriend from out of town. Oh. Yeah, we just came to see if you'd go to the dance with us. I'll thank you to leave this house, Drexel Potter. Now, Joyce. Why don't you all go down to the drugstore and drink something and cool off? An excellent idea. I'll treat. You will? Hey, that's... Uh, would you go, Joyce? I should say not. How about you, Gertie? No. A thousand times, no. Say, if you think you're going to come back to us after Millie has cast you off, you've got another think coming. Now, Joyce, a minute ago you said... Father, that was a minute ago. Goodbye, Drexel. Goodbye, Beanie. Are you sure we did the right thing? Oh, absolutely. I think. I still don't see why we were so hasty. We have our pride, that's why. We don't want to play second fiddle to any Mildred Hopper. I'd rather play second fiddle than no fiddle at all. Gee, no dates for the big dance, and, and we even have to pay for our own coats. Drexel, I thought I told you to go away. This is for you. Oh, Drexel. It's scratching. And this is for you, Gertie. Oh, Beanie, you're a doll face. You're a darling, Drexel. But I promise you I'll never do it again. Uh, do what? Give you to another girl, of course. Who knows? Someday she might even take you. 